Alright, welcome back to our tutorial. Uh, my name is Mihalik. Um I found a couple of fixes and uh, things to add. So the next uh, big video section we're going to do is UMG. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the fixes for that. Uh, the first off thing was uh, a fix to the line trace because it's a little offset. I forgot to add this node. Um, when you get the forward vector, you need to go forward by this much, and you may have linked it up to a variable. Um, you need to add it to the world location, because you need to tell it where to start plus how far to go in a direction. And I had just linked that up to the end. So that'll help fix that. Uh, this is in line trace store hit, um, so that should be good. On pickup item, um, you may have noticed that, uh, well, it didn't work in the last video. Um, you need to move the print string after the add. Um, if you destroy the actor, this data gets destroyed, so it'll just say you picked up a blank. So the print string needs to go after the add and before the destroy actor, if you wanted to add this. Um, right now it's kind of useful, but after we have the UMG in place, it won't be useful. And one more thing we need to add is we need to add it to the item data structure. So open that up. If you close it out, it should be if you're following my folder structure, it'll be in game blueprints. Which um, if you still have the apple, you can go ahead and move that over to consumable. But in the item data structure, we need to add a variable and called item class. Okay thought about it um, and it's just going to be an actor class nope nope yeah, it's right there and what this is is uh, when we set up um, like the apple oh, I need to save this recompile master if you ever make uh, changes to the item data structure you have to recompile the master class first and then it'll show up here and uh, what the item class is is when you make the blueprint you just tell it to look at itself and this is the best way I've found to be able to spawn something as uh, all my other three iterations of different levels of inventory of either followed as a tutorial or learned enough to create my own this is the easiest way to spawn something without having the hassle of trying to save data from when you first pick it up all the way till when you put it down you can just spawn a new one of that class and then if you need to you can set the data As you can pile and save and close this um, save that and remember when you make a change you have to make sure you link up the new one alright so that should be about all the fixes so far test it pick it up you picked up a well it should be an apple but um, you can play with this if you want and add uh, more items you'll be able to pick up all the different items if you follow the same structure uh, the next step is UMG, which is a pretty big concept, so I'll just set that as its own video. So I hope to see you back.